with another episode of My Car Story. Today I'm in Canada with friend to the channel, Steve Plunkett, and he has an amazing Cadillac, well, that you just probably have never seen before. Steve, what year make and model is this one? This is a 1976 uh, Cadillac Mirage. Let's take a look at what the Mirage means. I would call it, well, an El Camino for the Cadillac. So come on back with me, Steve. How did you determine well, how did you find this? I mean, give me a little bit of the backstory here on well, this car. I saw it advertised in the old uh, uh, auto magazines that you could buy at one time. And uh, it's uh, made in uh, by t traditional coachworks in Chatsworth, California. And what you would do is you would send your uh, Coupe de Ville to can, them. Can we open that? Go yeah. Ahead. You'd send your Coupe de Ville to them. Yeah. And they would customize it and make a, a, an actual uh, El Camino type car out of it. Wow. So Gene Winfield was uh, in charge of production and uh, his expertise, his metal work and fiberglass, the fiberglass bed is all one piece and so on. The tailgate is all handmade, he told me. He's actually driven this car. Wow. And all these moldings are handmade. It has yeah, a that's what they did. vinyl top connected to it. I think they are only in business for two years. Okay. You see the bed lights here? Yeah, look at that. And uh, this car still has its Space Saver spare. Oh, wow. With the with bottle the, that you uh, actually uh, <laughs> attach to the... Yeah. Your wheel chalk, your yeah, everything, everything there. It's all there. Wow, amazing. And a light back here too. All right, we'll close that. Let me uh, have you put that back up. I noticed that uh, you know this was actually faux. There's no key in there. That's right. Got because that. they. It came from the trunk lock. Come on back with me. We'll take an overall look at the side. Come on back with me. As we look back at that. I'll stand right there. And we can get that in. That is a very classy El Camino. And you called it a Mirage, so here's obviously why you called it a Mirage. So they specifically put the badge there for this car. That's correct. All yes. right. And then they body colored the hubcaps there. Very nicely done. You have the antenna that goes up. You can actually see where the Coupe de Ville side window, the opera window, remained. They cut the roof back over here. Yeah. So that is all part of the original Coupe de Ville. And they, I just want to show people from the top, they gave it that angled, kind of curved, slightly horseshoed feel to it. This was still Coupe de Ville, where they yes. put the wheel over here. The rear quarter is all Coupe and de Ville. And then your back end there, that little Cadillac light That's was... That's from an Eldorado. Is that right? That's an Eldorado badge. Interesting. Interesting. Well, let's, uh, we'll show them the front end of the car. When I jump in it for a ride, I'll show it to you in the light. Um, let's just do that. Let's start it up and let's turn it towards the uh, towards the light, shall we? Okay. And then we'll show the interior that way too. What a different car that is. I like the color. There we go. Let's, uh, we'll take a look under the hood as well. You have your Cadillac badge there. Now, how many of these are, 104 or so made? Uh, 102 were made with fuel injection. So Cadillac was the first in North America introduced 
to introduce digital fuel injection in late 1975. And this is a fuelie. Got it. Well, you can hear the, uh, the system. So we have the blower motor there. We have your danger fan there. Steve, you were sharing with me there were some other options that they had besides the, I'm calling it the El Camino. I'll just do that. What, what were some of the other opportunities? Oh, there's Gene Winfield's signature himself. Yes, you could send them also a big four-door Fleetwood Brougham, and they would make what they called a Castilian wagon from that Brougham. Huh. Now, they were only in business for a couple of years that I recall, but uh, they would make a notchback or hatchback uh, big wagon. Traditional coachworks. Wow. That's interesting. I've never seen one before. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, let's, uh, let's fire it up with the hood up, shall we? All the proper pieces there. One big radiator hose here. to the exhaust. So you can see the grass blowing. Steve, step on the brake lights for just a second, please. There's your brake lights in the tail. Sounds like it just kicked down. What a, what a classy piece to Let me take a look at the interior. Oh, the air conditioning just kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got the big doors. They look like they extended that door, or is that the typical two-door? Oh yeah, that's the typical Coupe okay, de Ville door. Okay, typical two-door two Coupe de Ville door. Little details there. You have the body by Fisher, the seats. You have your back glass there. As you can see, a little bit of extra storage room there. They've shortened that. The pedals, I'll stand outside it and give you that look right there. Typical Cadillac door there, some nice wood grain. Your climate control. Your park neutral reverse drive. Your nice wood there. Stereo. Power antenna. And your DeVille there. So the only place it says Mirage is right there on the fender. Yes. Other than that, there's nothing else that's listed there. Got it. Wow. So let me just get that one more time. Is right there. It's like a mirage because you don't see it. Let's uh, let's take this one for a ride, shall we? Okay. Yeah. We'll let's do it. go. The thing is, we see we have the word Cadillac, just like the regular car. We have the um, clock there, and then you actually see down there, I hope I can see that, it's the gas gauge is up on top too. So was it just the uniqueness of this one? Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure at the time if I'd ever heard of a Mirage, but um, I've never heard of a Mirage. 
I can tell you that the, I've had many of these big 500 cubic inch Cadillacs. In fact, I drove them in my sales jobs. Is that right? I have never had a fuelie, and when I bought this, I was intimidated by how much torque it had. It really? was a very big difference in a fuel injected 500 cube versus a uh, carbureted. Wow. It really has the power. Do you want to go to the left? Sure. Who's the guy in the middle here, Steve? I'm Joey. Oh, okay. And <laughs> what's your role in this? Uh, I just send the curator. <laughs> the curator. I'm, I like to uh, edit videos. He's he's my son. If you've, you've ever wondered who Joey is, some of you have said, like, what's Joey it's look like? Nice. Here you are. A rare appearance that he comes with us. But might I add, son, your shirt is matching this car quite nicely. Yeah. You've really, you've you really give it done it. Yeah, you really <laughs> got to give it to Steve. He's going to take the shirt right off his back. That's the kind of people we are at my car store. Look at this little country road. Isn't this nice? Isn't that a long hood? Yeah, that is a long hood. The Eldorado's going to be longer. Wait till you see that. Well, this really drives well. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess the wheelbase is making it so smooth. This is this is easy to get used to. Yeah, long wheelbase and, uh, and uh, the Cadillac ride of that era. Yeah, this is great stuff right here. Comfortable, too even with three across the front. And that's what we used to do back in the day anyway. If it was a pickup or an El Camino, yeah. we'd always throw three across the front. Assuming you had three, of course. My, um, my first 500 cubic inch DeVille, Coupe DeVille, yeah. I pulled hay wagons with it. <laughs> I uh, stretched wire fence with it. Oh boy. Pulled horse trailers with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, made it to 340,000 miles. That's wonderful. Uh, and um, something that, happened in the engine. I never did determine what went wrong. It could have been something minor, but that's when I parked it. 340,000 miles, and the air was still blowing cold. That's the original compressor. Wow. That's Cadillac quality right there. Yeah. That's very nice. Durability. Those 500s are just indestructible. They're the largest production engine in any car. That's amazing. This beautiful view we're getting a chance to see. Well, Steve, Joey and I have been bl blessed to be out here in Canada with you. We just want to say thanks for uh, having us yeah, for sure. You. And we really appreciate it. And thanks so much for being a great caretaker. Thanks so much for being at my car store. Great to uh, have you as a guest. Thank you.